Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am showing you some stuff I got from Amazon and from AliExpress. I'll also be swatching some Born Pretty dip powder and some Model Ones dip powder. So I first wanna show you the um, Model One set that I got for the primer and the nail dehydrator. So I was pretty excited that these both come together and it was back in stock. I've been waiting on these for for a while. And um, I do have a primer by Model One that um, I use, but I didn't have the dehydrator. So I'm not gonna open the new primer. I'm just gonna finish off the old one that I use. And I do believe they are the same formula. Um, here's some iridescent glitter I got from Joann's. Um, I've been looking for black ir black holographic, excuse me, glitter for a couple weeks now. And then I also got this silver glitter mix from um, Michaels. It's Martha Stewart. Um, it's three ounces. I highly doubt I'm going to use even half of this. So I'm about to put some of this glitter in a giveaway for you ladies. Um, if you saw my Astound Beauty um, poly gel kit, you see that you do get a free 30 gram tube. So the tube they sent me was the color changing one. And this is the color before it changes. It actually changes color to white. So from the Born Pretty store, I just got a couple things. I got um, two of these Dappin dishes. You can never have too many. Um, they get broken or they kind of get dingy after a while. Um, I also got some chrome powders and I'm gonna open them up and show them to you. I'm not swatching these today, but I'll just show you the colors. So the reason I don't swatch these for you guys is because it comes with a very little amount in the containers. And you'll see one container like literally probably had um, a quarter of what that one had. Um, but they're not expensive, but it is annoying that they're not all filled the same. Um, this one has a lot more. Well, no, actually this one has a little bit too. It just looks like a lot more, but that's a really pretty pink. Um, it's supposed to be rose gold, so I'll see what it looks like on the nail. Um, when I actually use it. Um, so this is a really pretty purple and this one's kind of clumpy um, But it's not that much in the container here either and this last one um, I Really don't know what was going on. I don't know if like the powder like Disappears or something like once it's packaged if it shrinks. I have no idea, but this literally has like like nothing in there but it's a really pretty color but um yeah so i'm not swatching those i'm trying to hold on to every little ounce every little bit of the um chrome powder that i have but when i do use it i will show you on the nails what it looks like um so i just got two of these dipping powders there um the shell shelly powder collection and um I don't know I'm making a mess all over the place um, I actually had someone coming over um, to do a dip powder set and I was trying to rush and get this recorded so I made the biggest mess um, in this video but anyway so this color is called stone story and that is DOP again that is part of the Shelly powder series and this orange color excuse me it's like a coral like light orange um, and that color is called Captivate Smile, and that is SPDO3. I'm going to leave the links for the Born Pretty store um, below. Um, I did get these off AliExpress if I didn't already say that. Okay, so here I'm just doing swatches. Um, and I actually use the dip powder kit stuff um, for these swatches. And I did them over clear, but I think if you do these over black, the color will show up um, the same way the color looks on the lids. So that orange actually looked a little purple over black, and then this mint green looks more teal and, or aqua over the black. So 
again those colors were captivate smile and stone story i will leave the link for those down below Okay, so I also got two sets of the Beetle Gel Polish. So I'm not swatching these today, so I'm just going to open them and just see how they're packaged and show you um, the colors. I will do a separate swatch video for these um, probably next week at some point. So make sure that you're subscribed and you turn on your notifications. I do upload um, every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, so... It'll be one of the days next week that I do the swatch video for this. But I did want to show you that glitter. It's really, really pretty um, gold glitter. So um, the rest of them I'll show you next week. So here I have Model Ones or Lifu. It's the same um, company. I did get a dip powder kit. But instead of getting the regular kit, I got the refill kit. So I didn't need all the glues that come with these kits I have like three sets of them and I generally don't use the glue with my dip powder um, for the swatches I'm gonna show you I actually did it with my um, gel base coat so this comes with six color changing um, dip powders and these jars are pretty huge um, they are the 25 gram pots so you're probably never gonna run out of this stuff um, it comes with the instructions and some tips. Um, if you've seen the instructions before, it's pretty standard. So yeah, you get six, um, six 25 gram pots and they all come sealed. So I will be swatching those in a few seconds. Okay, so you just want to make sure that you stir these up or shake it up before you use it. And I'm doing these swatches with my gel base coat. So I'm using D&D &D base coat, which is a little bit of a thicker base coat. And I found when I use a thicker base coat with my dip powders, I get way better coverage. So this is the color green um, 037, and that's what it looks like um, when it's warm. So the second color is a light blue and that, oh, sorry, I'm still on the first color. <laughs> so the second color is a light blue and that is 038. So I only do one coat of um, the dip powder for these swatches. It's pretty pigmented, so I didn't see a point of doing two. Um, and that's to the benefit of the thicker um, base coat. So the colors are pretty true to the color in the pot if that makes any sense. Um, the color doesn't change when you add um, the glue or the base coat to it. And so that blue turns to a pink. So this purple is called 036. And I didn't get much of a color change with this color. And if you look at the picture um, in the beginning of this video, this is one of the colors that doesn't color change too much even in the picture so was I a little bit disappointed kind of is it my fault yeah I should have paid more attention to the picture but that's a really gorgeous like burgundy ish purple color see it doesn't change too much there but it's a really pretty color for fall so um yeah it just doesn't change too much Okay, so these next two colors are extremely similar to each other. They're 033 and 034. Um, the color in the pot and the color, um, the color change color, they are just maybe a shade or half a shade lighter than the other one. And I already have this color by Azure. Um, I didn't realize that when I was ordering it, so I literally have three dipping powders that are the same color changing colors so 
I don't know if somebody wants an open pot of um, <laughs> dipping powder, but I'm never going to use all this and I've got to give it to somebody. So yeah, um, I don't know if somebody wants an open dipping powder um, jar, but anyway, um, so again, I should have paid more attention to the picture when I was ordering. See the two colors there, they're very similar. So. Um, I don't know I should have paid more attention when I was ordering and maybe picked a kit even though it had the glue I didn't need because of the colors I haven't seen anywhere where they really sell all of their colors individually and that's kind of what I'm waiting for and with model ones and their gel pots those creamy gel pots they don't really sell those individually either I have um, seen colors 1 through 12 on Aliexpress but not the rest of it, and I think they have almost 30 colors now. So this last color is 035, and this is another one. Um, after it got warm, the color didn't change that much. Just it got a couple shades lighter. So anyways, all in all, I probably should have paid more attention when ordering, but at the end of the day, um, these are large pots. The colors are very pigmented. And the thing about dipping powder is a little bit really does go a long way. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions um, down below in the comment section. And I will be back for another video on Friday. Thanks again for sharing your time with me.